So, you know, I've been doing some online shopping and I still have yet to really get what I'm looking for when I do online shopping. But I wanted to tell you about a purchase that I made at Target that I unfortunately am stuck with. And Target said that with this particular item, they changed the return policy. So you only had like two weeks to get it back to get your, you know, get your money back. And remember I was telling you guys how Walmart, unfortunately, did not uh, have the 100% cotton that I was looking for. I've been looking for 100% cotton. But one good thing about Walmart is that they did give me the return postage to get the items back to them, even though it was not 100% cotton. Some of the items I will not be able to return, and I accept that, and I'll go ahead and pay for the, for the items that I'm not able to return. It's not a big deal. But with Target, unfortunately, I am stuck with this item. Now, normally, when you flip the label over and so forth, you can be able to see if it's 100% cotton or whatever, but this just says made in China, it's actually too big for me. So I'm not able to return it. I'm actually stuck with it. So I'm just going to work with it since I paid $50 for it. I got to figure something out to do with it. But it has proven to me that I cannot do the online shopping. It does not work out for me. Now I did find another label inside of the outfit. And on that label is where I was able to find what it was. And it's 60% cotton. 60% cotton and 40% called Lyocell. I don't know what Lyocell is, but I wanted cotton, 100% cotton. And it says that it's machine washable, cold, separate, and so forth. All that doesn't matter. It's the fact that it's not 100% cotton. And we could look up and see what Lyocell is, uh, however, but it's not 100% cotton. And I paid the $50 for it. And when I picked up the items, starts counting as far as when you need to return. And now, mind you, this was shipped to me. So I can sit here and just tell you that I don't think it's fair, whatever. You should be able to return it because you can't fit it. You can't wear it. It was never worn. And most of their items you can return, you got a longer return period, like a 30-day, 90-day, whatever. I've never heard of a two-week thing and this was not a boutique, this was Target, or maybe Target, I don't, I don't know how you look at that. Uh, it is $50, and like I said, I am now stuck with this. So I'll do a little re research to see what that other percentage of material is and see how that's going to affect my body because I needed 100% cotton. I, I don't know what they're mixing these fabrics with today, I just know they're made in China. I don't know if that makes a difference. 100% cotton would have been 100% cotton regardless of where, where it was made. But the Lyle cell, I've never heard of a Lyle cell material. I don't know if that's a natural material. I don't know if that's mixed with plastic. I don't know much about it. I just know I was looking for 100% cotton. This is not cotton. And I was told by uh, Target that I could not return it. As cute as it is, uh, as a customer, as a consumer, I am not happy with going online and purchasing items because the items just are not as they appear to be. So with that said, I can still use a firm to do financing when I'm buying a lot of products. It's just now I will need to go into the store, do something where I can actually go into the store and pick up the items. This did not, this outfit did not give me the option to go in store and pick up like I did the paper towels and the other items that I purchased from Target. This particular item said, even though it was in the store, that they had to mail it to me. So yeah, I, I think that they should go ahead and give me my money back and shop there enough. I, I need to be able to get that 100% cotton that I'm looking for. Whenever companies start changing things on a whim, because you know Target's regular policy is a lot longer when it comes to trying to return something. But for this, they made an exception and they said they had it written and that be that. If it had fit, I guess it would not be, be such a big deal. But since it's way too big and it's not 100% cotton and the quality is just not there. And I'm finding I'm paying 
the same high price for a lesser value type item. And 100% cotton, I can see paying $50 for it. Something that's not 100% should probably be much less. And they did have the item on sale, but it looks like for me, they charged me the $50 when they sent it to me. And some of the other items that I purchased from Walmart were not 100% cotton, even though on the label it said 100% cotton. I can tell the difference between 100% cotton, uh, what 100% cotton should feel like. Now, mind you, cotton from different areas and places can feel different. I understand that. But I believe that I can tell if something is 100%. And I appreciate the fact that they had on the label that it was a mixture, that it was not 100%. But that's after the fact. And like I said, I've, I've never heard of that type of... Uh... Is a lyocell material, please? Lyocell is a man-made fiber derived from cellulose, better known in the United States under the brand name Tensil, though it is related to rayon, another cellulosic fabric. Lyocell is created by a solvent spinning technique, and the cellulose undergoes no significant chemical change. It is an extremely strong fabric with industrial uses such as in automotive filters, ropes, abrasive materials, bandages, and protective suiting material. This is from encyclopedia.com. Thank you, Siri. Of course. So there you have it. So it it's not 100% cotton. And... I mean, I, I guess now I get the chance to see how the material um, will work with my skin, with my body, uh, since I do have sensitive skin. Yeah, so I find that very interesting. That's one of the good things about Surrey is that uh, it's a great assistant. And I'm sure AI will be the same as a great assistant when you need help with getting information. And uh, perhaps AI can help me find 100% cotton. So that's about it when it comes to what I find out here. I'm not finding what I'm looking for. It's just I can't seem to find the type of products that I'm looking for. So what does that mean? I need to design something and, and create what it is that I'm looking for. Could that be uh, an option? Perhaps, you know, I, I did study with the School of Design and Context. I did study abroad. I learned a little bit of something. Perhaps maybe that's something that I should look into and explore uh, the option of creating something of my own that works for me. But I'm just sharing with you my shopping experience. And now you know what I know, uh, what the Lyocell material is and that they can mix it with cotton.